This video shows how to do a one-person flip-up. To start, stand in the middle of the canoe, grasp the gunnel, the silver border of the canoe, and lift up as you walk toward the canoe. Reach across and tilt the canoe up towards you while you bend your knees and lean slightly backwards. The canoe will be resting on your thighs. The silver gunnel closest to you should be at about your boat line. With the hand that's closer to the front of the canoe, reach across and grab the gunnel about six inches in front of the center yoke. If it's too far to reach the gunnel, you can grab the far end of the center yoke. Just make sure your knuckles are towards the back of the canoe. With your hand closest to the back, grasp the near gunnel about six inches behind the center yoke. Now it is time to understand a very important concept. Getting the canoe on your shoulders is not so much about muscle. Instead, it's all about technique and momentum. To build momentum, you'll rock the canoe three times, and on the third time, you'll rock the canoe up and onto your shoulders. As soon as the canoe is on your shoulders, immediately move your hands forward on the gunnels so your arms are outstretched. Think Superman flying. This is important so you can balance the canoe and control it in the wind. You'll also want to center your shoulders on the portage pads to balance the canoe front to back. Now to get the canoe off of your shoulders, first decide which side you're going to be flipping down to. If you're flipping to the right, you're going to cradle the canoe in your right arm so that the gunnel rests inside your right elbow. With your left arm, you're going to push up on the gunnel and lift the canoe up over your head and roll it to the top of your thighs. Then gently lower the canoe onto the ground or into the water, making sure the far side touches first because it's far better for you and for the canoe. 